If you enjoyed today's video, don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more delicious recipes. Also, click on the notification bell so that you get notified each time I upload a new recipe on the channel. Hello, Namaste. Today I'm going to make a very different rice dish that is full of flavors and colors. And you will be surprised to see that I will use very very less spices in this rice. So, how does the flavor come from? We will use fresh fruits and few dry fruits. Without wasting any time, let's start making this beautiful tempting rice. Rice list of all the ingredients and some special tips is given in description. Don't forget to check it. To start with, take a very good quality basmati rice for this recipe. Wash and keep it in water, a little water for 15 minutes. And here we have green lime or haravala nimbo with which we are going to take the zest using a small grater. Do not take the white portion from this line. Just the green portion has to be grated. Now take one orange or santra, grate the zest from that orange also. And after that, we have to squeeze juice from this orange. That is about 3 fourth cup of orange juice. Keep it in a glass. Also, juice that lime also. It is about one or one and a half tablespoon of lime juice. Keep both the juices in a glass. To these juices add in orange zest and lime zest. Just a little would do great job. Add in rose water or gulab gel for the fragrance. Now comes in saffron or kesar in the juice for the bright yellow color. Mix and keep these juices aside. And here heat oil or tail in a pan. Use olive oil or jetun ka tail if possible. Add in cumin seeds or zira to this oil. Let it splutter. Add in onion or pyaz. And do not try to use red onion here. Use brown or white onion. And fry on medium high heat for about 2 minutes. till. The onions turn little golden in color. After that, add in cloves or long. Green cardamom or hari lychee. Just open the green cardamoms and put it in like this. And mix and fry for one more minute. Here comes the rice from which water has been removed. This was in water for about 15 minutes only. Now very gently... Mix the rice with onion and spices very gently. I like to do it like this. Shake, shake, shake because I don't want to break my basmati rice. Now add in little salt at this time and shake mix. Add about 2 cups of water right now. Mix and reduce the heat to medium. Cover and let it cook on medium heat for about 15 minutes. After 15 minutes, let's check, it is halfway done. Add in lime orange juice. Also add in dry raisins or kishmish, dry cranberries or sukhe hue, karonde, dry apricot or sukhi khumani. And again cover, let this cook for more 10-12 minutes till it is fully done. After this, let's check, use a fork to Fluff the rice here. I don't want the rice to break. It is very fragile. So everything mix well. Now time to add our jewels to it. Add in pistachio or pista, cashew nuts or kaju, almonds or badam. These all are dried ones. Add in fresh pomegranate or taza anardana. Fresh mint leaves or pudina patti. Mix them again. Now this time we turn off the heat and let the flavors infuse. Cover for 5 minutes before you serve this beautiful rice. It looks so beautiful and tempting. Wow! You can eat it as it is but it goes well with a kofta curry or lamb shanks if you are a non-vegetarian. I'll share the recipe soon. Thanks for watching.